hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruel to be YouTuber that's trying to have a year long no buy. And today it's my third part in my new theme week where I'm doing favorites from 2018. So I have picked out all the palettes that I have had as favorites in the end of 2018 and I'm going to do a look with each one of them. And today I'm going to do a look with Creepy Cute from Shroud. Mine says Strobe because when I bought this, this was Strobe and not Shroud. And the palette looks like this. I have done a lot of looks with this. I have done Free Looks 1 palette, some palette bingos. And I have had a Shroud week. So I can leave all the videos down in the description where I've used this. And I can understand maybe that this palette is a little bit like of struggle to do looks with because it's eight only eight colors and it's mostly pastels one black and one gray but today i'm going to do a look <laughs> that uh, is inspired by my ear things ear things my new dangling plugs I have bought these from Aeros. I don't know if you can see. I can link them down in the description. They really, they came out with the Halloween jewelry and I was like, I need them. So I bought these. These are like a witch hand or zombie hand. I don't know. And it's a black and purple. So I'm going to do a black and purple look. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going in with like a little bit of strawberry milk as well in my crease so it's not going to be that harsh because this void is really really black so i guess i'm just going to prime my eyes and then we get started i am going to take just pressing the primer down a little bit i'm going to start with strawberry milk in my crease and i hope that this will look not too off. Maybe I should have taken the placenta in my crease, but I want to use strawberry milk. This shade is actually really, really pretty as a blush, at least on me. And if you haven't tested Shroud's eyeshadows, they do some of my absolute favorite formula. Like their shimmers are at least in top three of me because their shimmers are amazing and the mattes are also really good but I really think that the shimmers are so so amazing and this palette this was my first ever pastel palette and this has been what I am used to when it comes to pastels because these are just so pigmented and the payoff is incredible. So every pastel palette that I have tried after this one, I always compare it to this one and I'm always a little bit... Mm, I've had better. So that is like my only negative thing about this palette. That is like too good. And I think like for me... was my boyfriend that made a noise out in the hallway I was like is there a break-in yeah, and for me I am so pale so if a uh, pastel palette doesn't look good on me it's not going to look good on that many because paper is my foundation shade so far I do really <laughs> like this I don't know how much you can see of this but just we are getting there. I think I might want to go in with a grey one a little bit in my crease. Just because the black is really really black and I don't want it to take over too much. So if I take a little bit of tombstone, 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 thumbstone. I know I struggled with this in another video when I used this palette and somebody was nice enough to tell me how it's how you should pronounce it. Do I remember it? Apparently not. Thumbstone? Thumb 
thumb stone. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Do I like where this is going? I don't know. Maybe. And when I was going to sit down to film, I was like, I don't know what to do. And I put these on and I was like, hmm. I like the combo with the black and the light purple. So I was like, maybe that's an idea. And that's actually a look that I don't think I've done with this palette. Because as I said, I know I did free looks one palette and I did struggle a little bit with that because it isn't that many colors and uh, yeah, it's a little bit restricted and I think this is an amazing palette to use with some shimmers maybe or some deeper. If you don't want to do a pastel look, just with some deeper. Do I have hair? I did wash my hair before this and I did blow dry it and then... Well, the hair is everywhere. So I'm going in with Void, the black one, and I'm just going to try to take it out here. So I just take a little bit. And the trick with using a black is to go in with a little bit at a time. It was Linda Holberg that I heard it from first. A couple of years ago a long while ago uh, when she had like a tutorial on doing a smoky eye and it was like go easy on the black because you can always add black but you can never take it away so that has helped me so much I do like to do a smoky eye and I did struggle a lot with it in the beginning because it I was like packed on so much black so I looked <laughs> crazy but going in with a little bit at a time does really work. I always think it's a little bit harder to do it on this eye. I think it both because I'm right handed so the left eye is a little bit harder and also I think this should be my good eye because this is a little bit more hooded than this one but I think that this one is easier too work with okay so i think this is good so far i'm just a little bit afraid that it's going to crease because this eyeshadow base in me we are not the best of friends and then i'm going in with placenta placenta Plas i've always said placenta this this purple one And do you look a little bit like my earrings? Earrings, my tunnels. I like always want to say plugs, but like this is not a plug, this is a tunnel, dangling tunnel. I'm taking this up in my crease and do you like see this? And it's now I am going to try to have it a little bit over the black but then I'm taking the brush that I had the black on with no extra product and go over with that and like the thing I do really really love about this palette except for like the amazing shadows like the colors of them is that this is a really light purple but as you can see, I can still go over the black and like you can see the purple on the black. And I just think that is so good for a uh, pastel purple to be able to do that. I do really like these lids and I think that it, it's, you can maybe see the inspiration. I do really like it and I think it was a good choice to take the pink and then the grey in my crease actually. So okay, I am going to fix my face and then I come back with the finished look. And as for this whole week, I'm going to use this for my face. And I think I'm going to use this for my eyebrows today as well, to use this one for my eyebrows. We will see. So I will fix my base and then I come back.
this is the finished look for my face. I did use Pinwheel, Milky Way, Maffei and uh, Cigar. And uh, on my waterline I did use Amethyst Hour from Colourpop. And on my lips I am not uh, happy with the, the shade but it is what it is. This is Dune from Kaleidos. And yeah, I love this look so so much. I think it's cute but at the same time it's a little bit dark so I'm really happy with it. So I did use Thumbstone, Thumbstone, Planchetta, Strawberry Milk and Void. And I'm just so happy and I do love this palette. This is one of my still one of my favorite palettes in my collection. It is my favorite pastel palette. It is amazing. I have had it for a really long time. It still performs so good and the shadows are just I just love them and uh, I think it's so fun to come up with new looks because I don't think I've done one of these. Maybe I've done the exact same look. I have no idea. But I do like this. I think it matched my jewelry really good <laughs> and that makes me happy as well. And I do hope that you like this theme so far. The palettes I have left is these two. So the Sewell palette and the Hasina 2 palette. And I can't remember when I used these the last time. I've, I've, it has been years, I think. Maybe. But it's going to be fun to use them again. And one thing, when I sat down to film, one thing that I do longing for and that I want to record now, but I'm not going to, I'm so looking forward to do yearly favorites. It's one of my favorites things to do. It's one of my favorite things to film. It's one of my favorite things to watch. And it's going to be fun to see this year what I have loved because of my no buy and to see like which of my palettes that I have in my collection I have loved the most this year and also like which base products I have gone back to. I don't know which kind of like blush and highlights and contour that I'm have loved the most this year but I'm just longing for recording that video but that is going to come in the end of December so yeah but it's just going to be so fun and it is a thing that I love to watch and I do love to record so yeah I guess that, that was all for this video I will leave all the videos that I've done with the creepy cute down in the description and I think I would have left some up here because I know that like a standalone palette it might be a little bit hard to work with I do understand that I still struggle with it sometimes even though I really 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 love it so if you want some inspo just check down for the videos and yeah I think it's a good palette to mix with others and especially like with the other shades and you can buy these as singles I don't know if all are in stock but um, these sell like a single so if you don't want all eight of them um, you can buy them as singles the, the thing I love the most with this one is like the green is an amazing amazing green I do love all the colors but this take a hint it is an amazing shade and the black is really good even though that uh, I think you might have a, a good black in your collection. So yeah, that was all for this video. I hope that you have liked it and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!